Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel once again here, this is Mac. So, for this video here, as always, we're doing the whole continuation of the gameplay commentary video of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So, to those who are new to my channel here for the first time, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, notification button for future type of like a gameplay commentary type of content. And to those who have already recently had or you know subscribe to my channel thank you very kindly always do greatly appreciate that very much highly am content with that please keep that going you know that that shows a great deal amount of you know awesome support especially in the whole long run of things it does help me out especially in the long run so what we're we gonna do here now a moment here <clears throat> okay so we're just gonna go straight into the campaign <clears throat> and one moment here please I'm just going to check something out okay so once again I'm going to pop into this type of briefing room I'm not at all going to be doing any kind of uh, briefing within that safe house area just a, f just a few things I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show you okay so let's hop on in there Okay, so now that we are in this whole safe house area here, now here is the same scene, just like the you know just like the last video which I had produced, which was red light, green light. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now usually, um, usually when I do I do produce some kind of gameplay commentary, like uh, I usually would have like um, some material kind of already. Uh, prepared prior to in, in order to uh, like uh, prior to producing a gameplay commentary video like like such as some interesting fun facts some interesting information and talking about various types of characters and you know just very sub like I said various types of fun facts but what I'm gonna do here on this video is just talk like a little bit about some stuff here and there. Nothing, nothing too much, which is gonna mean like nothing too long. And then gonna hop into a mission pretty much like straight away. So what I mean by that is, I'm pretty sure you see these two, you both recognize these two here, which is Frank Woods and Alex Mason. Now, what now on this gameplay commentary here for this whole gameplay type of action, what do those two have the whole connection or common on this video here? Simple. Considering the fact that since I am I am already, as you can tell, since I'm moving this whole this character around, which is Bell. The reason why I'm kind of sh showing and demonstrating that is because on this next mission, Bell is sitting this one out. Bell is going to sit this one out, and that's going to imply that you, as the player, are going to be on this one mission throughout the entire time controlling him, Alex Mason. You'll be controlling him on this mission. Meanwhile, as on the last mission, as Bell did fight alongside this guy right here, Frank Woods in Red Light, Green Light, you are you as a player are controlling this guy right here, Alex Mason, and doing the same thing, fighting alongside Frank Woods, this guy right here on a separate new type of a mission directly after um, red light green light so I thought I'll go ahead and just give off a little demonstration that on this gameplay commentary video you're taking control of him Alex Mason while you are fighting alongside this guy right here Frank Woods on this one type of separate mission and once again that's going to mean that Bell the play the most of the playable character that you mostly will be messing around with on this game here is going to sit this one out 
And this mission that I'm referring to here. So some of the details I'm not going to really get too much into here. I usually would just to kind of give off the whole type of uh, visual type of demonstration or visual kind of information for all of you and for all of for all of my fans, of course. So thank you, Rick Conley, guys. Really great, pre really greatly appreciate that. Well, pretty much for all of you viewers that could be able to look at all the footage, look at all the info, and then make all the connections together in depth. And what I mean by that is usually I would. But I'm going to try and make this short as I can here in relation to this and just kind of, as I said, go straight into the gameplay straight away. So, pretty much having said that. On the last video, on the last mission, I already had done this, this type of video, produced the video, and did this mission, which, was, which is Red Light, Green Light. And we already know how that we already know how that pretty much went down. If like uh, if you don't know much about this mission here, what's going on? Towards some of you Call of Duty fans, I'm pretty sure you've played this you played this mission before plenty of times. I'm pretty sure it's self-explanatory. You all of you already got this nailed down, no problem. The others on the hand, first time playing this, go ahead and watch part four, red light, green light. And all the information will be exposed on there for sure. It deals with the whole connection between Jason... Uh, hold on. It just deals with the whole connection between this guy right here, which is Jason Hudson, yeah. and... Oh, pardon me. And this guy right here, this Russian terrorist guy, Perseus. So, again, the whole, all the information's on here. So, for the next type of uh, gameplay commentary video we're going to be hitting on here is... Let me just quickly find it. I... That's what I thought. Echoes of a Cold War. just gonna back uh, back out of this for briefly a moment so as you can tell on here now just gonna go into a separate file here just to show you so you the player will act in this particular case me as the player Mac Bell McCaller as in as in myself as the player commonly you be the, the whole operative and and pretty much like um, Heading up on some of these missions here, as you can see. Same name, same name, same name. Now, again, switching out to a different operative, Alex Mason, which is that, that same guy in that van that's sitting right next to Frank Woods. He's now going to be, uh, be the operative. Okay, so obviously here's all the evidence that we have here. So we're not really going to get too much into that sort of, sort of deal. So just, by the way, just going to let you also know that once I'm finished doing the whole video and finished doing Echoes of a Cold War, what I'm going to do just, you know, for the hell of things, just to kind of get these two missions done and out of the way... I don't know which one in order I'm going to be doing this in, but I know I will be doing both of them. I don't know in which order, but I will be doing both of them for sure. Directly after this mission, Echoes of the Cold War, I will inevitably do... Directly after this one, it will be Operation Red Circus and Operation Chaos. And as you can tell, Alex Mason... Alex Mason what shows on there so that means that he is the operative that you'll be controlling as the player on this so what I'm probably going to end up doing is just I'm probably not going to really be doing um I don't know which order it's going to be but my only kind of main objective is just to get these two Operation of Chaos sorry uh, Operation Chaos and 
Operation Red Circus, just get those two done and out of the way. So I can be able to focus on the main story. So, Echoes of a Cold War. Russell Adler sent Frank Woods and Alex Mason to find Dragovich's mainframe computer at Mount Yamat Yamata before Perseus's before Perseus's forces. Major Dmitry Belikov flew and flew them in. Woods and Mason found the mainframe. Then Belikov assisted them by airlifting it out of the base. And just to kind of give off a nice little type of uh, little fact, so all of you can keep this in mind, that um, Major Dmitry Belikov, that guy. is in this mission right here, Desperate Measures, and it is him. That's KGB Major Dmitry Belikov. He's going to be in the whole Echoes of a Cold War very, very briefly. But as you being the player, inevitably you will be playing him about roughly, give or take, about... 40 to maybe 50 percent of the whole mission depends upon how much how much of the effort and time you do place inside the mission but you will be playing him uh on well you'll be playing him throughout the good half part or less of of this mission here uh which is uh i believe uh, desperate measures you'll be playing him he's a playable character in that mission and then finally Bell. But the only reason why I'm mentioning him about uh, Major KGB Major Dmitry Belikov is because again you'll be seeing him in this like a, like just a little bit brief. And well, you'll also be hearing him off camera, like uh, through the audio. But again, like uh, in order to see him. He appears a little bit, and then you'll be hearing him again, like towards the, towards the tail end. Okay, so this is the mission here: infiltrate the abandoned base at Mount Yamanta, airlifted uh, Nikita Dragovich's mainframe from the base, discovered an audio report to Moscow re uh, Operation. Red Circus and found the Redeemer. So that's just like, uh, you know, extra information for you guys. Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and just kick this off. We need to know what Perseus is planning for that nuke. Park, anything else in that printout Bell and Woods pulled from the base? There's mention of an excavation taking place in the Ural Mountains, Yamantau. Our insider within the KGB confirmed an active operation. Yamantau. I thought Hudson and Weaver buried that place years ago. We did. Perseus wants to salvage the old mainframe. Dragovich and Steiner must have left some good shit behind. Steiner. Send me in Woods. You're too close to this, Mason. We can afford zero fuck-ups. Bullshit. You know there's no one better for the job. It's my call. I want Mason and Woods on this. Find that mainframe before Perseus does. I'll contact our KGB insider, Belikov. He'll offer logistical support. Hell, Belikov may want to fly the chopper himself. Whatever Perseus wants at Yamantau, I want it more. The first building is just over that ridge. Thanks, Dimitri. We'll radio we found the mainframe. Woods, you know what the KGB does to double agents. Yep. Duh. If they win this season, it's almost worth facing the fighting squad. Eh. Hey, I've only one hour of fuel. So after that, you find yourself a new ride. Come on, let's get moving, Mason. Okay, here we go. By the way, it was Yama Yamato. Okay, slight mispronunciation. Whatever, no big deal. I'm not That's highly concerned. Inside, man. 
Don't let the smell of cheap vodka and caviar throw you. Belikov is the real deal. He knows where all the bodies are buried. Hell, he buried half of them. Scouts on the ridge line. We should drop them now before we get any closer. Good kill. Kinda looks secure. You go first, Mason. Okay, excellent. Yeah, like I, like I mentioned before, a bit of a while back, I'm not too bad with the sniper rifle. <sighs> I hope this holds. Okay, so I missed him a little bit, not that much. Ah, okay. Damn it, the hell. Inside. Excellent. Well, unfortunately, we're not going to be remaining in stealth for too long. Nope. Kids anytime quick.
Well, I'm not exactly Obi-Wan Kenobi, but I'm gonna try and see if I can get the high ground. Dumbass. I went first last time. Why change it up now? You know, buddy, I'm very, very tempted just to do this to you right now. I'm very tempted right now. my damn gun. You're going first next time. Should have shot him I had the chance. I see a tunnel down here. You'll have to find another way inside. Copy that. Stay Woods. Great. There we go. going here. Oh, right. Never mind. Okay. Nope. Not gonna bash my way through. As best I don't. Damn, it's cold. Oh. Huh. Crossbow bolt. I don't know why I experienced that. Don't get me wrong, that's actually kind of cool, but I don't know why I still experienced that. Alright. Is there like a crossbow kicking around I can up and snag or something, or...? That's a damn good question, and... I don't know if I can or not. Probably can't even get up there. Okay, just gonna very, very briefly check. I'm probably—I probably don't think there is, but uh, I know the last time I did. Uh, played this level once there was a crossbow kicking around I don't know if it's like around here or anything like that or maybe in the next section uh, unfortunately I don't know whatever I don't have time to look around just gonna have to go ahead the place was closed after the fall of the lava I heard that in the recovery there were found bodies with bullet wounds what do you want to say that our government has hidden the attack on the Soviet land on the Soviet land the lava does not shoot people I love the case we need to get out what are you afraid of providence? I'm afraid of being afraid of the death and the death of the death of the death listen to your idiot stories I'm afraid of being afraid of the death Ничего необычного.
<laughs> oh, that was very well, beautifully well executed. And first time I did that on camera. Um. I'm just checking something out. So, what kind of weapon is this? Ah, whatever. I'm just gonna take it. I don't have time. Okay, so now, just to kind of point out something. <clears throat> This type of uh, sh middle shelf or box, whatever the hell this, th this thing here is, contains some type of uh, hidden type of evidence that you'll need just to go ahead and uh, collect towards your evidence for to unlock some of those missions like um, uh, Operation Chaos or Operation uh, Red Circus or something like that. Plus, there's also a nice type of... Uh, uh, you know, a six-shot type of uh, handheld gun inside here. And the neat thing about that gun is it's like a one-shot, one type of takedown, one kill. But uh, as much as that is very nice and very powerful and very helpful, the only kind of... Uh, the, only, the, only th the only thing sucky about that part is that there's no type of scope or something that you can aim with in order to make an accurate kind of a shot. So I was like, well, it kind of doesn't really help. So, for some of you, just kind of point that out if you want to be able to have a look at that on, on your own game once you do get it and be able to have a look at that in depth. I've done that plenty of times. I'm just going to go ahead and continue on. There's the damn bow and arrow thing. Uh... Let's see here. Yeah, it's silent, but at the same time, may not necessarily be all that helpful, though. The hell with it. I'm just gonna go. Wait a second here. Huh. Okay, not bad. <laughs> Damn, I feel like Rambo doing this. Wow, with a smashed glass, you'd think they would react to it, like, almost immediately. Now they're reacting. All right. 
Yeah, I read you. You gotta be close. How the hell with it? Okay, you know that uh, that that metal shelf that I was I was talking about. Just kind of give a more of a visual type of demonstration. If you're merging out of this section right here, come over here, way down this way, into this part of the room over here, and keys are right on that table there. If you're in this room, same thing, door's right over there, way over there, and the keys are on there. You can just hike it back over there and grab the evidence and grab that uh, type of small type of six-shooter gun. Surprised the entire Soviet Union ain't up our ass. You've been busy. That's what they pay me for. In here, Chief. Okay, one moment here. Maybe. Listen up and let's go. Look Shit. for something that could lift the mainframe. Okay, whatever. I was gonna go ahead and do this. See any dig sites? There. What's that? Bingo. Map says that crane is hanging near the old computer room. That's where we need to go. Okay. And I guess we can't tag any of them with this. But this is what you're up against once you leave this building. Okay, let's go ahead. There's a big crane on the west side of the base. Have your winch ready. Excuse me? My my winch? Sorry, you're breaking up. <laughs> they get a crane, we got a chopper. Is there any ammo I can grab or something? That's a no. Damn it. Dimitri, we're pinned down. Can you give us air support? Don't you ever ask. Like your 4th of July, huh? You're welcome.
Jeb, there are somehow. That's what I needed. Where the hell it keeps on? Oh. I already took that guy out already. down now. Like, should be good. Okay. This is where the fun begins. Damn thing better hold this time. for a little slide here. Let's get going here. Where's the winch? Let's go, let's go, let's go. I get killed if I don't move it. That was smashing, wasn't it?
take us home. All right, and there you go, everyone. That was the whole gameplay little mission, Echoes of a Cold War. So, like, you know, I thought I would just go ahead and, and see if I can just breeze through that. Not too bad. Some things I managed to have done while on the whole gameplay camera here. Thought, hey, hey not bad. That's what, that's quite impressive, especially for the, for the first time putting it on camera, so to speak. Okay, so after this is done, it seems like Operation Chaos would be next, and then Operation Red Circus. Those will be the two type of uh, individualized. Uh, type of uh, missions that I will be producing and then playing and then getting all that produced and uploaded and so on. So that's what my whole little objective is just is to hit these two, get that done, get it out of the way. Like it's like a little side kind of a story or a little side kind of mission. Get those two done and out of the way, and once that's done, I'll continue on. I, I'll go through this type of um, pardon me, this type of uh little brief mission this mission right here to me is one of my favorites definitely for sure besides the whole brick on the wall this is one of my favorites for sure and I'll get into that like uh, at another like at a separate type of date and time in relations to that so once again that was echoes of a cold war and then I will go ahead and hit this up on the next ga gameplay so until then I'll just go ahead and, you know, end the whole video right here. So once again, everyone, thank you very much for tuning on to my channel here. This is Mac. Go ahead, by all means, please, and thank you very kindly. Do hit the like, subscribe, notification button. And if you have any comments or questions in relation to this, just go ahead and uh, throw it into the comment section. So as I had looked at the whole echoes of a Cold War, and as I had kind of like uh, analyzed the whole mission in depth, my very first thought was, <clears throat> well, there's not much to kind of go on or not much to kind of show or expose in detail and depth about that mission anyway. So I figured, okay, well, I'll just kind of uh, mention a little, bit, a little bit about this and this, hit the mission off like right away, and then boom, it's done. So that was kind of like my thought. And then with those two types of operations, I'll probably end up doing the same thing. Talk a little bit about some stuff here and there, nothing that much. And by the way... Uh, when it comes to the whole part of having like a mindset of like uh, of a detective, that part I'm going to mention in the next video. I think it's just kind of cool and have to go sense. So, anyways, everyone, thank you very much for tuning on to my channel once again here, and I will see you all on the next round. Peace out, stay gold.